Hello everyone. Hope everyone is doing great out there. This video I am going to cover how to configure the switch step by step part 2. You want to look at my part 1 video. I have the link in the description below. Uh, so go and check out that one. But I am going to cover what I covered in my part 1 in here. But I am going to do quick uh, that's going to show you how you can do the Cisco configuration uh, fast. For that to happen, I'm going to download one of the tools that we use uh, to um, sketch out the configuration. That is going to be uh, what that is a GVIM. GVIM download. Uh, make sure you go to www.wim.org so that will be uh, a legitimate uh, download for you so don't try to download from you know some other vague sites so i'm going to download uh, my computer is uh, windows 64-bit uh, so i'm going to use so this one will be for 32 this one will be for the 64-bit you can see that it's a 64-bit edition. So my GVIM is uh, in the downloads. I'm going to run this. So I'll accept the terms and conditions. Go through them. Okay, let's open up this one. So this is the tools that most of the network engineers use to uh, prepare the configuration and copy and paste the configuration uh, pretty fast, right? So let's. Um, I have all my configuration here. and this is a notepad you can also use notepad but GVIM uh, will be much uh, easier GVIM will be the much more sophisticated text editor than uh, notepad uh, you can uh, see the difference by looking at how much options you have in here that will tell you this is a much more capable text editor than the regular notepad. So let's uh, go through the configuration quick. I have a second switch here that I need to, this one uh, is the one I used uh, for my first video. So I have uh, another switch here that I'm going to do the same kind of configuration on this one I'm going to do it much faster so I have a GVIM here that I used for the first one only thing I'm going to change the host name here this will be finance uh, okay so let's copy so you just copy okay go here to the second switch so I'm going to name the switch here so let's open the switch so it it is a brand new switch you can see there is no password and you to show run and you have no configuration here so you are in the middle of the run you don't want to go through all the interface you just uh, hit escape button or you can hit Q I mean quit button right let's uh, look at here and then I'm going to copy here copy and paste before do that I have to do that Ctrl D so 
it can go to the configuration mode so now the host name is being copied okay and then i'm going to do the the configure management ip and shut down vlan 1 so i'm shutting down vlan 1 now copy so do this way so i can toggle between these two pretty quickly yes. so i shut down this one and i'm going to do the interface configuration okay, i did the interface configuration now management interface okay and then I'm going to assign the gateway IP paste and then I'm going to do the enable secret password paste and then I'm going to do telnet configuration copy okay that is done turn that and then I'm going to do the console configuration that is done make sure you go and look at my first video you understand what I'm doing here I'm just showing you how to do it faster. So now uh, step six, I am configuring ACL for my telnet access and VTY access. So this is a okay there, and then now VTY lines. so this is the new step in my you know this will be part two where I am starting in this part two uh, the continuation of part one how to configure the Cisco switch step by step configuring VLAN interface that's the layer two interface is key uh, in the enterprise network we will have so much VLAN the wheel I will cover this uh, VLAN in another video so VLAN is actually a broadcast domain so basically you are limiting the broadcast within a VLAN so say you have a VLAN that span across multiple switches that has tens of thousands of hosts in it and all of them are doing a broadcast so that network is going to be flooded with the broadcast traffic and the efficiency and the speed of the network is going to degrade. So it's very important to have a separation of VLAN and limit the number of hosts within the VLAN. Also, uh, basically layer 2 VLAN, uh, you can divide your network based on the function. Say if you have marketing, you can have a VLAN for marketing and if you have a, a finance you can have a VLAN for finance so that is most secure also when you have multiple VLANs and you can limit the traffic between the VLAN through the routing and then you can have ACLs you can have firewalls and all kind of things so uh, VLANs are very uh, important for your network configuration so here I am going to configure two VLANs, uh, layer two VLANs. One is for marketing, one is for finance. Marketing VLAN will be VLAN 50. Uh, finance VLAN will be VLAN 51. Come T. Next. Show int VLAN. Okay. If you see here, this is what I was trying to show you. 
uh, show into VLAN 50. VLAN 50 is up. Uh, line protocol is down. So when you have a host in a VLAN, then only the line protocol also will be up. So that's you have to have both need to be up uh, for that VLAN to be a functional. Um, okay, so let's uh, keep going with the configuration. So I have the VLAN ready here, and then I'm going to do the same thing VLAN 51 name finance copy paste. So I have both VLANs. Let's just check show int show VLAN. So show VLAN. Okay. To see show VLAN, you have both VLAN that have been created here. And uh, now I am going to assign the ports for those VLANs. Here, uh, port 1 to 5 will be on 50, port 6 to 10 will be on 51. So I will go here on T int. I'm going to go to interface, interface range. I'm going to use the interface range command. Interface range, they're all gig ports. You see here, all of them are gig ports. Now are uh, on uh, default VLAN. So all the uh, ports will be on VLAN 1 by default. So interface range, gig. You can just put G only, G101, 25. By issuing this interface command, I have switched port 1 to 5 uh, into the interface configuration mode. And now I have to switch the VLAN. Switch port access VLAN 50. So I'm going to do the same thing for VLAN 51 also. I'm going to copy this one. Copy paste here and I'm going to change interface 6 to 10. Now I am in the 6 to 10 interface configuration mode and then I'm going to do the VLAN that is where's the command copy paste 51 all right now i have ports 1 to 5 on vlan 50 port 6 to 10 on vlan 51 let's go and check it out and show in show in status. So if you see here, first 5 on 50, first uh, and then 6 to 10 on 51. And if you see the rest on VLAN 1. So my next step goes to disable unneeded ports on the switch. So that means, uh, so you have ports 10 to 11 to 24 are not used now. So it's always best practice to disable those ports. Think about these ports might have been patched and also it's, you know, terminated from the other end. If some hackers come and plug in something over there and if the port is live, that is bad. So make sure you shut down all the unwanted ports. So how I am going to do that is, 
I'm going to do 11 to 24 interface range. Copy, exit here, and T, paste. Click. Ah, I should have done click. Click. shut down or shut you tab shut you will get the full command shut down right it says administratively shut down that means you have purposely shut down those ports so now you can show in show in status and you can see here these are active ports, these are shutdown ports, right? Okay, now I have to save the configuration. So let's go to the switch. So there are multiple ways to save the configuration by using a different abbreviation of command. But the idea is you save the running configuration to the startup configuration. Run, running configuration is the one on the memory and it goes to the startup configuration it goes to the ROM that is the permanently saved configuration even though if the switch shut down it will it won't lose the uh, uh, your commands your configuration because it's if it is saved in the non volatile ROM when the switch reboot the startup configuration will be loaded into the running configuration. So, so double click write. So that means you write the configuration from running configuration to startup config. So you do W R I M E M. Write mem. The last one is copy run start that means you copy the configuration from running configs to startup config hope uh, this video is very helpful for you please like and subscribe to my channel also don't forget to hit the notification bell because i am going to put at least one video per week minimum all right thanks so much bye